Well, hello to you. <laughs> I see that you defeated that being over there with minimal effort. That's impressive. <laughs> yes, well, I was walking through the forest and I heard a noise, so I came to investigate. And I decided to stay and watch and I'm glad that I did, due to I'm very impressed by what I saw. Not many humans can go up against a being like that and live to tell the tale, but you obviously have. Do you have any supernatural strength? Any weapons of any sort? You have your sword, but you have no powers. Okay. Well, that makes it double impressive then. I'm very, very, very intrigued by you. Hmm. And now that I'm looking up at you closely, you're actually quite good looking as well. A very smooth baby face. I bet you've got an adorable smile. And look at those eyes. <laughs> they look as beautiful as the sea itself. I could get lost looking in those eyes. I bet those eyes, if you look into them long enough, are as deep as the oceans themselves. <laughs> but listen to me. Well, I'm not from around here. Like I said, I was just walking through the forest and on my way to somewhere else when I heard your little battle go down and came to watch. It's highlighted my day. So... You want to know where I come from? Ah, well, that's a little bit more of a story that's going to take a bit more time to explain. But let's just say I'm a little bit of two different worlds. <laughs> yes, I'm from two different kinds of worlds, you could say. You want to know? Well... I'm what you call a demigod. I'm half human and half a god. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, my father is Zeus and my mother is from another town. So, do I need to explain more? Is it frustrating being the daughter of a god? It is a bit, but it's not that much. As long as I keep my identity hidden, I don't really get that much trouble. But I think I can trust you for some reason. <laughs> yes, that does make Hercules my brother. Oh, and he's so annoying. Always scrambling for father's approval. Always trying to fight. To get up there to be with the gods. Can never be happy with what he's got. I mean, he's trying to prove himself to be this big noble hero. And it's just so annoying. Everyone sees him as this big star. But I know what he properly is like. And trust me. He's not that dashing. and He's not that brilliant. Being my little brother, he's really, really annoying. Sometimes I just want to tap him on the side of the head. But my father won't let me because he's golden boy. <laughs> you know what? Let's go for a drink and talk more about this. I would like to have a friend come back to visit when I come to this town. So what do you say? You would? Great. Then let's go. <laughs>